Oh, okay, okay. okay. And then gets right. in there, he's a okay. fucking monster. <laughs> he's a robot, man. It's time for that most magical time of the quarter. Audit committee, 10Q. Wow, sounds amazing. Shit. Come on, shadow me, shadow. Frank, my dad's a prick. Come on, nothing? I, I got nothing. You know what you promised me. Yeah, there's a view. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It's like a yummy RoboCop. <sighs> So what are you rocking for the panel? Jacket or no jacket? Uh, right. Like I'm gonna fucking tell you, dude. Fuck off. Okay. Strategic advantage. Fine. But fair warning. I'm thinking of no socking it. Rocking some horny ankle cleavage. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Scary. I'm scary. Yeah, it should be. Or am I just saying that to psych you out? Hey, Jack. Hey. Hey. Hey, sir. Hey. hey, excuse me. Hey! hey. What's, hey. What's cooking? Hey. Yeah, just, uh, just... Might have just touched Bill Gates. Ooh. Hey, did you check out the acoustics uh, on my room for my talk? Hey, uh, did you get me on a culture hike? And what did I what did I get in my shower? Did I get the nut and fruit box or the uh, champagne and paperweight? Nuts. Yeah. But uh, but the talk venue's great. Uh, it's the same one as Roman and Ken. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And um, and don't worry about the nuts. I mean, the, the cashews are the size of boomerangs. Okay. <laughs> so, Thanks. Uh, oh. yeah, Thanks. Hey, nice vest, Wom's hands. It's so puffy. Thank you, Roman. What's it stuffed with? Your hopes and dreams? Oh, wow. Hiking boots. They're pristine. Oh, here we go. Alright, all rides for Pope Big Dick. Hello, Raya. Mr. Roy? You know what I need. Hey, hey, hey there. I, uh, yeah, just to say, um, I don't know how up to speed you are uh, with all the details, but uh, just say that we're all lined up for the ATM strategy announcement. Yeah, same shit. Different rapper. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna go with that um, banner, but we you know we settled on we're listening. It tested great. It tested fine. Do me a favor. Is that Sandy from Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tell me again. How, how did this happen? Uh, well, we had a tip off some time ago. New York Magazine working on a substantial piece. And asking for a response. Okay, so there's a bomb about to go off, and do we know what the fuck is in it? Why do you do this, Dad? Why do you hoard information? What you don't know can't hurt you. Obviously, uh, we are confident on our position regardless of the allegations. And uh, this will drop when? Well, online first. 36 to 48 hours. Uh, so, yeah, not two weeks. Again, I have no idea where that came from. So, this thing's Paris, right? If you don't get that done and signed off with this drop, then. Can we kill it? No, you can't kill it. He no, not in the last five years. Hey, respectfully, Shiv, take a beat. You're new to this, yeah? Oh, yeah, I think for you, I am. This is expensive. Stay all pale male, and you need an outsider to advise. Cease and desist, right? Yes, you go. We're on that. No, we go how deep are their pockets. Fucking scare the shit out of them. Yeah, get word around. Our lawyers will go balls to the wall, say he's super pissed. Subtext is... This is personal. We're feeling vindictive. Get the senior management asking where they'll go if we bankrupt them. We'll get into it all with them, we'll cooperate, play it all out, and then stamp them. Um, we could offer up morsels in exchange for postponement. Yeah, we might be able to find something, maybe out of the studios. No, it's bigger, juicier. <laughs> People who are, sorry, sorry, fuck, I'm sorry. People who are writing about cruise abuse scandals are not going to be getting all kissy for plot twists on Frat Baby 2. No, delay is too soft. But it's just to, like, maximize the user experience. But if that was to break, maybe... Oh, fuck! So, yeah. So uh, the question is, is it a smart thing for you to be saying we're listening when, when we are indeed listening? Why was I not aware of this? Well, it's basically legal, the guy said. But he didn't want to put that in an email, so... But what am I going to call it now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we put it in an email. I suggested we hear you. Is that any better? We tested this, Greg. Knock down. Yeah, Tom is so extra. Yeah, Tom. Tom is a fucking clown, bro. <laughs> Time is so real life, though. He is fucking Mike, what it is. It's possible to say. He's outside his mind crazy, too. Mm -hmm. The nasty thing is, people who say things about me, about the company, I might need to know you're with me. Look, when I am with someone, I am with them. Look at me. I know who you are. I'm a bad man. 
Houston story, the woman that jumped and drowned. Oh. What if something happened to her? It's, it's just innuendo. The dancer says that she heard stories of dozens of other women who actually signed the NDAs. Okay, but in terms of actual... <laughs> no, I... I'm not fully briefed. We don't need you. I can do it. We can do it. Fine. <sighs> we could do it with your help, but fine. Okay. You can't. What are you gonna keep refusing, Chef? Do well, you want the job yeah. or that? What the fuck? I don't know what they're doing. Is, is it? I don't know. Do you want me to touch base with Ray? I'll take the temperature. No, 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 no. No one speaks to Ray. Me, Leia, no one else. Chef, you're with me. Little Miss Fucking Incredible, huh? Logan, your 6 p.m. counsel, also your 7.30. Katari money? Uh, he said he'd meet for coffee. Wary about dinner. And Jack canceled dinner. Play like people are canceling shit. shit. Everyone's waiting to see how it plays out. Everyone's <laughs> canceling, so like, I can't be seeing you with Logan so, Boy right now. I guess if you did have something going on, you know, like deal-wise, it's kind of like dead in the water now, right? Like some of the women that went on those cruises. Like some of the women that went on those cruises. Kat, I'm so sorry, bro. I feel for you. assured me that this is not a major issue. Oh. Truth is, it's in the balance. Uh-huh. I think we may feel that if it was just a few bad apples from a long time ago, then maybe they can grit their teeth. Well, that's going to be the line. So, good. Got it? Yeah, good. Okay. Right, and if you need to smash glass in case of emergency, it's enough of that and back to the session. Family ownership and corporate continuity in the digital age. Well, whatever the fuck that means. Hey. It's your company. Hey. You need uh, like... So, listen, I think maybe I should help out and do it. The panel? What, what the fuck? You just busted right. in here? It's like nine minutes till showtime. Shit, no. We already decided. Yeah, we're all prepped. Uh, okay, fine. So, send out the two cover stars for Toxic Mail Monthly. And, uh, why don't we get, uh, Ted Bundy up there? Shit, don't, freeway don't, don't fucking pull this. Okay, we, we asked you. Yeah, and I thought about it, and I changed my mind. Oh, my God. What are you you should say more words. Me. Rhea mm -hmm. wants me to be up there. Rhea wants me well, to be up there. It's difficult. Oh, it's difficult. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Would you like a hand job or an apple? Fuck off, then. It's smart. Shiv works. It's smart. It's smart. Sudden last-minute lineup change? Come on, man. It's panicky as fuck. She's not even in the company. It looks kind of fucking cheesy, yeah. to be honest. Like, throw our token woman at it. Well, it can't be two men up there right now. It just, it can't. You can't. Right? I mean, if disruption is an issue, the audience is expecting just Roy. So, maybe, maybe we stick it to and someone relaxes. Wrong else. What, holding? That looks like a humiliation. No, we could just say you got sick. 
No. No, you don't bump me. That's bullshit. Fuck that. Respectfully, Dad? Why is she even here? Because I was fucking invited. No, I need to be out there, okay? We need to hang tough, you know, together. Family. Oh, okay, so let's just get Connor down here oh, yeah, then? With all pylons, so no one's nose was put out of joint. That, that's I will put thing. your nose out of joint. Oh, you should say that with that. Oh, Funny course. joke, Siobhan. If you want to know what I really think, I think you should drop both these two and I'll do it solo. Wow. Someone thinks they're Beyonce. <laughs> Pretty desperate, kid. <laughs> <This is> so <laughs> Exploiting the situation. <laughs> no. Just thinking think about what's best for the time, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure, sure. No, that's, uh... <laughs> that's coming through loud and clear. Yeah. She's a loose cannon. She is out of control. Look, Dad, I don't care. I can make this go away. I know this in my bones. I don't need fucking flashcards. I'm not officially in, so I have freedom of movement. But if you don't want me, then I don't give a fuck. I will go eat lobster and watch the fucking girls because it's all... It's all gravy, baby. She just used Ray's words. It's important to remember two fundamental three. things about the news. There are three of them up there. One, it's new. All the things that are new. The many news. The news. Your boyfriend's really sucking ass out there. Hey, I'm sitting on the right when we're out there. And I can see your bra through your sweater. Your hey. dick's hanging out. Guys. There's no way you guys. Yeah, that room. 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 Yeah. Anybody got a boost to see for you when you're out there? That's hilarious. Your period yes. just came out. We aim to evolve our coverage <laughs> into something that is so hot. Be careful, we'll only turn your spot back. It's something that's that what Roman has in this. He's like, he has to get air, but... ...ever-changing needs. And that is why we like to say... We hear ATM. you. We hear... ...for you. Thank you. Here. For you. We hear... Thank you very much. Thank you. For you. We hear for you. Yeah. Hey, Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Could have just used we report for you. Done. Move me up the ladder. Okay? It's the best idea somebody came with me. I got spunk. Thank you for joining us. Next up, please give a warm or just these welcome to Roman and Kendall Roy, Joint Chief Operating Officers at Waystar Royco and Political and corporate strategist Savon Roy. Welcome. You don't do many of these, Siobhan. Uh No, I'm, I'm hard to get. <laughs> I'm exceedingly easy to get. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love this idea of corporate continuity. Kendall just like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that I don't know what he's doing. That's why we love Joe's. Magazine piece, which came out today. Wow. Yes, well, uh, go ahead. Oh, no, no, go ahead. I mean, uh, I think the thing for us is <sighs> we don't want to simply condemn and move on. You know, we'll, we'll want to look into this, investigate it thoroughly, and then absolutely do the right thing. No, we can't we even fucking sit up. Uh -huh. And uh, give us an insight. Uh, tough day for the company, Siobhan? Well, uh, obviously I've been uh, given the privilege of growing up around the business whilst also being able to plow my own fur on the outside. She's been working in politics for 10 years, so don't hold out for a straight answer. Oh, I'll give you a straight answer. <laughs> but obviously, as you say, yes, it's been a tough day for the company. Sometimes there are uh, not errors, not misjudgments in corporate governance, but... Catastrophes? Um, well, no, because it's not really about corporate procedures. Here, is it? Oh, we about to argue about each other. The decency that transcends management structures. Like, you know, that's what's so important about these stories when they come to light in whatever sector. And Greg like, sometimes it feels noise. like, my God, it's it's, it's everywhere. Yeah, that, that's absolutely right. Uh, uh, I mean, the this is like I, shit. I, I have anxiety. Like, yeah, we don't know. Because they right didn't now, prepare we just this. Don't know. Feels we like haven't started the necessary investigation, so that language is. Uh, but absolutely on the sentiment. I think he's telling me to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 hell no, no, I'm not. Uh, uh, I, you know, if this stuff is true, it doesn't matter to the victim that these were isolated incidents that happened, you know, many decades ago, right? Right, and, and just because it did happen 25 years ago is not a reason to simply condemn and just move on. No, no, absolutely not. You know, we've been accruing and maintaining brand loyalty for decades, and that trust 
is a result of knowing and respecting our customer Stop base. And right. Lose his mind. Compromise that trust. We'll take the necessary Goddamn air too thin. The heart. We'll do. Palpitations. Kids up there. Mother throw up. Obnoxious. You know, it's it's about being completely unimpeachable. And sometimes companies develop bad habits, and you need fresh eyes, clean hands, and new ideas to address those. Yeah, I mean, that, that's uh, the great thing about a company that's structured like ours. We can do that while retaining core values, you know, manage change. He's good, right? He's, he's great. <laughs> I think I'm a little more aggressive. Sometimes I think you just need a good old-fashioned dinosaur call. And who's the big T-Rex in your mm. sights? Oh, I, no, I mean uh, uh, dinosaur attitudes. Values. Now, I would never go after my dad. That's a sport others enjoy. Did he do good? I have no idea. Hello, in the middle of a famine, going, why is everybody so down? They don't have Wi Fi here? You talked to Rona? She okay? Yeah. Uh, I said, we're going to that he was funny. All right, who do we got here? Who do we got here? Oh, we got the Roys in here. What's up, guys? Oh, shit. I hope he doesn't do me. Oh, hey there. <laughs> <laughs> never fucking bored? Oh, I think this is going to be a long bit. I can understand this tradition. Why do we come to be insulted? How is this in the thing? I don't even mean. be joking about them like that because they're in the midst of a hands-on investigation. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of deals going down here, too, man. Someone's going to make a sale, too. Wait, stop. Hey, I think that's great. That's like the Hindenburg going down and like, yeah, hydrogen blimps. Sign me up. That's the future, baby. You spoke to Logan on the 13th. What was the nature of that discussion? I do not recall. It could have been any number. I would like your resignation. I don't appreciate being hustled. This is a good Shit. fucking deal. You won't get a deal like this again. It is a good deal. And I have never had anything in mind other than what's best for Pierce. Oh, horse potatoes. You work for Ray and Jarrell. And as long as our interests were aligned, it was fine. We'll be hearing from the lawyers. Hey, 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 I haven't finished. Good night to you both. Good credits to Bath Brothers. You turn this down and you're fucking your whole family. Oh, I think my family will be fine. But thank you for your concern. Let's go. Hey, wait. We haven't finished. We haven't fucking finished. Here, yeah. wow, we man. We haven't finished. Hey, stop, 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 I don't know, every single minute, I'm thinking Logan's about to have a heart attack. Right. And just be done. Right. Right? Because his whole look is like, I'm two seconds away from dying all day long. And I did not see him coming. I knew he was pissed, but I didn't think it would ever get to the point where he would strike one of his kids. Like, that was just a reaction that was so, because he's so I mean, fueled. he did that shit to Kendall's son, remember? Yeah, he did. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And that was a, yeah, 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 yeah. But this one makes more sense because... I mean, he every does. day he been here at this retreat, actually leading up to this damn deal, back and forth, back and forth, and then the kid, this Siobhan, then the dinner. It's just a lot, and then the air is not good enough for him. It just, you know, he he snapped. He is snapped, and now at the end, he has snap snapped. Right, the deal is done. It is off. Um, yeah, Ray did meet with um with him. I'm guessing that's the one when she came to the office. That's what she probably talked about when she met with them at the office. Remember when she had to come from the basement mm -hmm. in the back nobody seen? So, I don't know how she heard about that, but she did. And whatever, it was still about the Pierce company. But at this point, I'm like, man, do we really fucking... This is our only thing? Because they're getting on my fucking nerve. Do they want to sell? Don't they want to sell? Do they need the money or don't need the money, you know? And then, obviously, the cruisers came back up. So now this is just going to be a shit storm that they're going to have to try to fix all the way through. Greg know what's up. Tom know what's up. But nobody has other neither one of those names yet. Yet. Even Siobhan can't even remember that Tom was trying no, to tell him. But Siobhan told him don't tell don't me. Don't tell but yeah. I'm saying Siobhan ain't brought up Tom know all the details. 
She ain't said nothing. No, she they know. They know wrong. because Tom was like, uh, "Is it about me?" And she's yeah. like, "Calm down. It's not about right. you." Right. It's about you. Yeah. But he knows what was in the papers. So does Greg. The Greg still got a fucking copy. So we'll see how that play out. But uh, man, it, it, Roman did a great job in this one. You know, he was less Romany, and Kendall did an excellent job in the beginning, being the damn um, the Terminator for his daddy. But yeah, it is just drama, 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 and I cannot wait to see the next episode. Let's go. Yeah, I don't have a lot, uh, a lot more to add outside of um, just we're more than halfway through the season now. So like, how does this all play out? Because it really does feel like it blew up in their face. I will say too, Kendall did the classic fuck up where you talk too soon before shit's locked in. Like, there was no reason for him to have that conversation with Stewie. You just don't do that. You don't show your cards before, like, you get that signature on the line and he spoke too soon. So, Roy's definitely wilding out at this point, or Logan's definitely uh, losing it now. I think it's a combination, though, too, of, like, the fact that he is having altitude problems, um, which I thought was just a really great attention to detail to even have that as part of the episode. It's not even something that necessarily was needed, but I think it elevated the tension of uh, Logan trying to keep his shit together, which he obviously failed at the very end. Um, but I loved the intensity of the last scene, especially with Raya, because you could tell, like, the way that um, Nan was looking at her was like, bitch, you already cut out. You don't even know yet, but I'm about to tell you in two yeah. seconds. Um, because she was looking at her, even at the dinner or at the breakfast, too. Like, I, I see right through your shit. You're trying to play me right now. You're mm -hmm. hustling me right now. So, you know, with all things considered, I can kind of see Nan's perspective on that like she didn't want to be hustled and like the, you know they but had their moral obligations yeah, she didn't, didn't hustle though. but she was she was like come on just relax just relax raya was t trying to talk in her ear to get her to close like yeah, but ultimately I mean, they and, they the deal, and the deal ultimately isn't a good look from what their moral obligations are mm -hmm. like they're in conflict clearly in conflict i don't think there's a better deal out her from a monetary standpoint right. but the optics on like how shitty okay. the royal family so the money ain't enough yeah is not enough the exactly money enough to say I don't care. So, a really, really great episode and cannot wait to see where it goes from here. Alright, well look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Succession Season 2, Episode 6 and until next time.